So now we're going to go on to adding and subtracting vectors. Now adding and subtracting vectors is always best in component form because adding them in polar form is quite challenging. So we're only going to cover how to convert them in component form. So you just add or subtract the components of the vector. So if we had i plus j and 3i minus j, then a plus b is, well, you take the 1i and the 3i's here, and you add them together, so you get 4i. And here you get the 1j, so j minus j, so that's 0. So you just get 4i as the vector, which can alternatively be written as 4i plus 0j. And subtracting, we just do 1 minus 3, so that's minus 2. And 1 take away negative 1, which is plus 2. So the two negatives turn into a plus, and that's how we get a positive 2j. Uh, you can think of it like uh, collecting like terms, for instance, and if you can think of it that way, it's a fairly intuitive process. But how does this look on, say, the ij plane when you're adding vectors? Well, it would look something like this. Uh, if we have two vectors being added together, uh, what we can do is translate the vectors on top of one another. So here we have the vector u and the vector u prime. Uh, prime just means a change in placement. So u and u prime, u prime is just a translation of u. And similarly, uh, v is a translation of v prime. So we form this little parallelogram shape. So um, yeah, it says here that u prime touches the end of v and v prime touches the end of u, and where they intersect, if you then connect the origin to this point here, you actually get the sum of the two vectors. So here the vectors look like, well, a is 3i plus j, and b is i plus 2j. So a plus b, or it should be u plus v, uh, it should be 4i plus 3j, which it appears to be. So that just proves that this method works. But subtracting vectors is slightly trickier to see visually. So in subtracting vectors, uh, u prime, uh, or the first u prime, is actually uh, the vector u flipped on its end. So it's flipped 180 degrees. Or, as you said, it's flipped in the line y equals negative x. So the first thing we do is flip u around. So now we have u prime as our vector. So now we're adding a u prime and a v. So u prime becomes u double prime. So this is actually our new translated vector. And these two pink vectors represent translations of uh, v and u prime. And where they intersect is... Uh, the vector a minus b. So if we look at this, uh, we can see that u is 3i minus j, or 3i plus j, and v is i plus 2j. So in doing u, uh, u take away v, uh, no, it'd be v take away u because u is being reflected. So my apologies. So it'd be v take away u. I even said it here. V minus u is v plus the negative of u. So v minus u is minus 2i. So, and then that would be plus j. Yep, and that's what it is. So minus 2i plus j. So in remembering that v minus u is v plus the negative of u, uh, that can visually show the subtraction of vectors. However, questions like these are fairly uncommon in most exam papers that I've seen. However, it's a nice visual aid to kind of verify that adding the components simply push still works in a geometric interpretation.